really taught me the concept of finding enlightened people, and that's Mr. Mark Fortune of Fortune 5 over in Brentwood. Thank you. So to put my comments in context, uh, I'll give you a little background on me since most of you don't know me. Um, after I finished business school at Vanderbilt, I spent 10 years in corporate America, then stepped off the curb, and started a business, grew that. After four, about five or six years, we had an opportunity to buy one of my uh, vendors, which I did, Century 2 in Nashville. When we acquired that business in 97, that top line revenue number of about uh, $20 million. Five years later, we had to $100 million. I sold it six or seven years. This, four years later, uh, we were at about $180 million revenue number. So I'm a sales guy. Um, after uh, selling that business, I didn't uh, step off the curb. I jumped off the cliff because I started another business. And I thought this would be pretty easy because I'm a smart guy and a CEO and chairman. And you know, life is pretty good and pretty easy. But I stepped uh, into it just about the time that you had done it. That was in the spring of 08. We raised a bunch of money, put some money in the hat, got the business started, and then all the way when the, end, when the market collapsed, we went down with it. So we lost our money. And at the end of the uh, uh, calendar, this past calendar year, we, we closed it down. I've since started another business called Force 5. Um, and during that two year process where we were in this new startup, I was the sales guy. My partner and I uh, just put the business up, and I was the sales guy. And unlike the experience I had in the past when I pick up the telephone, tell people who I was and they either knew me, knew my company, or thought I had gray hair so I should be respected. These new prospects didn't really care one, one bit who I was. And it was very, very humbling to be back out in the field making calls, calling on people who were the age of my children, uh, had less education than my children, and were treating me like dirt because I was the sales guy. And, and I realized at that point in time that I was doing something wrong. What I was doing wrong was thinking that I could skip steps B, C, D, going from A to E. So my message to you, Michael, asked me to give you three takeaways. So my three takeaways are in the sales world, not in the marketing world or the management world, but in the sales world, I think there are three key characteristics that make, make things work. One of them is discipline, the other is tenacity, and the third is fearlessness. And, and fearlessness is usually what inhibits a lot of people from really going to the next step. You know, when you pick up the phone, make a cold call, they can't eat you. And I've forgotten that when I was, you know, 59 years old or 60 years old starting to do business making calls on these junior people. So um, the context is the experience that I had meant that I tricked myself into thinking I didn't have to be as disciplined as I needed to be. So I've gone back to being disciplined and tenacity is something that you know a lot of people who grew up on the blue collar side of tracks like I did have to have in order to get to where they are. And then being fearless. And being fearless doesn't mean you have to have a lot of morale. It just means you need to be centered whether you get that from your faith or you or your logic doesn't matter, but you just be centered and that gives you your fearlessness. So, Mike, I appreciate what you're doing. I haven't known him very long. The first 10 minutes I met him, I didn't much like him. And then I started to listen to what he had to say, and it really uh, rang true to me. So I think this is a man with a message, and I support what he's doing, and I've got your back. All right. Thank you.